Hey everybody, welcome back to another Custom LEGO Minifigure Showcase video, and today I'm showcasing my Custom LEGO Iron Man Mark 85 suit from Avengers Endgame, and holy crap, I can't believe I'm already doing this, uh, that didn't sound right, because this has been in the works for a long time, I started way back when Avengers Endgame was originally going to come out, now it is currently, hang on, uh, it is currently August 10th when I'm recording this, and oh wow, that's a long time. Uh, but still, Endgame is coming out on Blu-ray and DVD soon, so I, might as, I, I thought I might as well just do this now. I Before, I made Tony's Quantum Realm suit, and I made my other ones. If you saw my Avengers Endgame showcase, I made those, but now I'm following it up with this and Cap. Uh, but I don't have Cap with me right now. He's not done, so I'm just going to do this. So yeah, let's just get on to the figure, and I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Not that far, like that much, and I'm just going to put his hand down. And just to get it out of the way, I'm first going to just discuss this Tony head, uh, which is the 2013, I believe, the 2013 Tony head. Um, I just used this because I thought it best resembled uh, Robert Downey Jr. Right after I saw MGF's uh, making a video, I was like, hey, that's actually a really good Tony head. So I, okay, it's out of focus, amazing. I thought, hey, that's a really good Tony head, and it looks, like, it looks more like Robert Downey Jr. in the moment than the, than the more... Recent Tony heads, as you can see, I painted the blood on there. If it'll focus, doesn't look like it doesn't look like it wants to now. But I painted the blood on there. Uh, that took a while because I had to look at like bootlegged uh, pir pirated footage, and it didn't have the best lighting. So yeah, that was something. I painted the blood on there. I painted all the scratches. I painted the hair brown, but then I just gave it a little bit of a blonde wash on the top because his hair is more blonde in this scene, or in this time period in 2023 when this takes place. <coughs> so yeah, that is the Tony head, and I did not paint the back of the head, so that's not gonna, that doesn't need to be seen. So yeah, I'm just gonna put on the regular Mark 50, Mark, goddammit, Mark 85 helmet, and let's take a look at the figure. So, the helmet is, ba is just a painted Iron Man helmet. I don't even know which one it came from. But basically, I wanted to create a bunch of different looks for this figure. I created a little burnt effect, as you can see on the side of his helmet. Because when he get I know he doesn't wear the helmet when he snaps his fingers, but as you can see, it's, 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 I sort of scratched up and added some black on the side of the helmet. Just to give the little burnt effect that he has when he gets burned when he snaps his fingers. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. I only did it on that side because he does snap on the right side of his body. Um, the helmet was a heavily sanded Iron Man helmet. I, I sanded it and painted the back, painted the sides there, uh, the, and I'm just using a bootleg Iron Man face under there. The top was sanded too, so I paint. This is all my own gold. That is all my own gold. What I did was I just used, uh, where is it? And it looks like I don't have it with me. I used Craftsmart Bright Gold to paint this helmet. Um, it, it works really well. It matches Lego's gold color pretty pretty well. Uh, then what I did was I just painted... This was, this is a... Let's see what color torso this was. Because this was, I believe I painted this entire torso. Yeah, okay, this was a red torso. I just needed the red color on there. And the front plate just fell off. Oh, there it is. I just needed the gold color. I just needed the gold color of the torso as a base to, to then apply the, the metallic gold paint. And I painted the arc reactor. I was going through a bunch of different shades of blue until I finally got this right one. So that worked out great. I painted the torso. The, the torso is uh, was hard. We're definitely hard with all those little lines in the middle. All those, the lines were kind of hard because I couldn't find the best reference, so I had to go off. I, I didn't couldn't find the best reference until the Hot Toys figure came out with, until Hot Toys came out with their figure. So I went off of that for a while after I found that. So I had to redo the entire torso because it wasn't accurate before. And it's out of focus. I had to redo the entire torso after I found the Hot Toys figure. So yeah. The legs are pretty simple. Uh, let's just lower the camera. There we go. The legs are pretty simple. Just some basic painted lines on there. Gold, silver, silver plating. I actually redid a lot of the silver up there that uh, on the on the torso. I actually redid that, redid that in gunmetal, gunmetal, because I found out that it's that actually is in fact gunmetal, not silver, which is disappointing. I didn't know that. Uh, the arms are painted. Uh, they have basic lines on on each side. Not that hard, just sort of regular. Uh, and then here is what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the nano gauntlet which I painted. 
Uh, if it won't focus. Amazing. It's really small. So what I did was I painted all the black dots on the arm. Painted all the black dots, and then I painted the little colors inside of them. I painted the colors inside of them, I painted all the infinity stones, and then... <coughs> Excuse me. I painted all the infinity stones, and on the and on the side of the minifigure hand, there, I want I painted the green one, <coughs> the time stone. Sorry about that. And there just wasn't enough room. See, for what I wanted to do was the same thing I did with my Thanos, was to cut out a bunch of studs, like like translucent pieces, like this, like this. I wanted to cut out pieces like this and glue them on there, but I didn't. I just couldn't do that. It was just too small, so I opted to paint them on there, which is fine too. But, you know, and the back is pretty simple. I just, the backs, I don't, I don't, I usually don't do that much on the backs of figures. So, yeah, that is the back of the helmet. And, yeah, that is my Iron Man Mark 85 figure. I hope you guys like this figure, and I really like it. It's definitely my favorite Iron Man figure that I've made. I've only made two Iron Man figures, and this is by far my favorite War Machine Mark II, or War Machine Mark VI is coming. It's either Mark VI or the Iron Patriots. I don't know which one it is. But that is coming soon. I hope you guys like this showcase. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.